Hello YouTube, in this video we're going to take a look at RASP BMC which is uh, a Raspberry, one of the Raspberry Pi uh, distributions for XBMC uh, which you can see on the website is raspbmc.com which I'll focus in on there. When you go to the download section I'm going to go and do a Windows download and you get the option to just click on click here to download the files that you need to initially to start off and what I've got is just a 4 gig SD card in the machine and what you end up with when you want extract the uh, downloaded file is just a series of small files here with installer.exe, license, the image file, readme and a DLL. So I'm going to run these, run the installer.exe. This utility will arise, blah blah blah, and, and this is the program itself and I can see my SD card and I'm going to accept the agreement and I'm going to say install and you can see it picks up another file in the background and starts the install process onto the SD card which I've got in the machine here so this process should only take uh, a minute or so actually we've got a downloading bar on the bottom here so it's a restoring image uh, hopefully that will be quite quick and while I'm waiting here I can show you I've got my Raspberry Pi waiting to go so connected at the moment is just a receiver for uh, a remote control a standard windows media center remote control uh, ethernet is plugged in hdmi is plugged in and power obviously as well it's not powered on at the moment okay so congratulations raspberry pi successfully installed in your sd card you now boot your system with the card and continue the setup this requires a wired internet connection thank you for using raspberry rasp bmc okay so let's uh let's take out our sd card and move over to the raspberry pi which goes in on the back which is difficult when i'm doing it one-handed but never mind okay so it's in now Right, so we're all set to go. Now this process will take a little bit of time, but it's quite straightforward. So obviously, there's the Raspberry Pi all set up. And what I'll do now is I'll uh, just show you on the TV. Okay. Let's just focus that in a little bit. And also, put up a clock on the side here so we can get an idea of how long it is actually taking to install right, to get rid of the glare I'll just turn off the lights and we'll turn on the uh, Raspberry Pi as you can see the lights are on the bottom and this is what starts up And we're starting this at what time is it? Just before, just before half past nine at night. So, I'll give an idea as to how long this process will actually take. So it does this uh, particular startup. Um, connects through your internet, through your ethernet cable. And we've got to wait for it to bring up a little um, GUI screen to kind of say what we want to do next and how long it'll take. Raspberry and C will now install. It typically takes 15 to 25 minutes on a home broadband connection. And now it starts formatting partitions and everything else. So I'm going to uh, probably skip ahead and we'll see exactly how long it takes. It's now just before half past nine. And before we're at a point where it's actually starting to boot up XBMC. Okay, now we're just extracting XBMC, which we really, it'll go through fairly fast. <clears throat> I'm 
Okay, nearly done. So we started it just before half past nine, we're now just after quarter to ten. So getting on towards twenty minutes. And now it reboots Raspberry Pi. You get a nice little Raspberry Pi logo. Or I should say Raspberry MC logo. The way I have this set up at the moment, it's one HDMI cable going out of the Raspberry Pi into uh, an Onkyo amp. So the amp will be receiving audio and video through that one HDMI cable. It's not a setup for coax or anything else. This will sit on the screen I think for a minute or so. Here we go. And now, what are we, just before 20 minutes I suppose. And we've got XBMC running on the Raspberry Pi. And the usual media bar along the top and on the bottom, in the middle even. And I can use my remote control which you can barely see on the screen but I can use it using uh, I can control it using the um, this remote control, which is just a, a Windows Media Center remote. Okay. Taking a little bit of time to become responsive again. There we go. Okay. I don't want to go into Raspberry MC settings. Come back. Uh, as you can see it's doing some movie add-ons and checks and add-ons so it's uh, a little bit slow initially to respond when you first get it but give it a minute and uh, once it's done all the add-ons it will return to what you can see at the moment which is pretty smooth moving around of uh, the menus of course uh, speaking of the add-ons all the add-ons that you would tend to use from your normal XBMC installation on your PC or Linux box or little mini PC uh, all work on them on this as well so let's go and try and see if we can get one let's go into add-ons under videos I think we can take that laptop with the time away because it's quite annoying Okay, get more. What I will say is that on the Raspberry Pi, the menus are a little bit slower to to run than what I have on a mini PC, but as you can see, they're certainly not anything that's pretty major. So again, one of my old favorites that I've shown in my other videos for XPMC is a uh, giant bomb. Let's go and install that uh, add-on. You can see it runs through the installation process. And it's enabled. Okay, so if I go back. Ah, whoops, I went back too far. Let's go back into add ons. And giant bomb. It'll go off and get the information from their website for their videos. And I can say I want to watch a quick look. And let's see what kind of quick look we, we want to watch. Uh, what's, what's the new one? Something new. Medal of Honor Warfighter. That's just come out, I think, hasn't it? So let's go and watch that. One of the bugs in the game, actually, or in, the, in, the, in this particular version of X XPMC, and again, it is a nightly build. They're constantly upgrading this at the moment, but you can see it, it does play, plays away fine. 
which sounds oh it's a delicious tuesday here at giant palm we are uh live this uh, tuesday afternoon i'm ryan davis joining me today on the couch can... is brad shoemaker one of the bugs that i've seen in the, in the uh in this particular version of the moment is if i try and fast forward it says it's fast forwarding but it doesn't actually do anything similarly if i try and rewind it says it's going to do something but it doesn't so i end up having to uh use the um the timer to just t key in a particular place in the uh, in the timeline of the video to say I want to go to there to watch it and there you go it'll it'll skip on no problem instant streaming which is uh, always quite nice you can see the volume up you can hear it pretty fine I thought the look last at the actual information for the video extremely problematic I thought it was interesting they tried to go for some sort of realistic angle even if it was still a very unrealistic game compared to actual Oops, reality bit of a hiccup there but there you go a premise that i can find so you're running in standard definition the ac 2.0 audio right uh execute that man okay <laughs> shoot him in the back of the head okay well easy enough now shoot that guy Now hold your gun up all the time. Okay. Okay, so that works as you as you can see. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy a couple of videos, some tra movie trailers across onto the uh, onto the, uh, the SD card of the Raspberry Pi and um, show you what it looks like when playing just some movies. So bear with me for one second while I do that. Okay, so whilst I've been waiting, what I've done um, is go into Windows Explorer, type in the IP address of the uh, the Raspberry Pi, and uh, which you can find in the system settings under XPMC, and what it'll allow you to do is get direct access onto the SD card that you've plugged into the um, uh, Raspberry Pi, and copy all your media up there to it, whatever you like to copy. So in this particular instance, I've just copied up some uh, trailers, movie trailers. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Files, under videos and let's go back up from giant bomb go into files list and I'm not going to find anything at the moment that's just a standard option that they put in themselves but I'm going to add videos I'm going to browse and go to the home folder and I'm going to say ok at that it will be called pi that's fine home, dot, home slash pi and we won't do any scraping that's fine and I'll now have a Pi option in here, which you can see there. And this will take me, hopefully, yeah, there you go, directly to the SD card, which I saw in Windows Explorer by just going to the IP address. So I've got a couple of uh, movie trailers in 720 and 1080p. They're all H.264 because the graphics chip that's on the uh, Raspberry Pi will accelerate H.264 um, high definition content. If you're using anything like a DivX codec, uh, in a HD format then that won't work because it will use the CPU on the, on the Raspberry Pi and it's not nearly fast enough. Uh, standard definition DivX as far as I know um, will work fine. Um, but if I just show you this for instance we'll have a look at uh, Iron Man 3 720p to start off with. I'll bring up some of the details again. 720p AAC AAC sound, but I have confirmed that it will play back Dolby Digital and uh, DTS as well. Got a lot of apologies to make. Nothing's been the same since New York. You experience things, and then they're over. I can't sleep. And when I do, I have nightmares. Honestly, there's a hundred people who want to kill me. As you can see, it's and pretty I flawless. I can protect the one thing I can't live without. So that's uh, at 720p. If I move it up into 1080p, slightly bigger file. Let's move it on in the uh, timeline. Some people call me a terrorist. There you go, 1080p. I consider myself a teacher. Lesson number one. Heroes. There 
there's no such thing. <laughs> There you go. That's uh, an easy installation of RASP BMC for your uh, Raspberry Pi to be able to operate as your media playback device. Of course, you can add in sources for your network. Um, you can get access by FTP onto the XBMC distribution, edit your sources XML file or copy over when you already have from before. It'll all work uh, standard as between all your other versions of XBMC and uh, stream your music, your pictures, your videos. Um, without any issue as you can see. There might be the odd little hiccup but it's still quite early days in this project and it's uh, nightly builds that keep getting added on to um, RASP BMC so over time it'll hopefully get better as well and uh, I hope that's um, something giving you something to think about and maybe have a play with your, uh, your Raspberry Pi. Uh, thanks for watching and please rate and subscribe.